I'm going to talk to you the topic called prayer for deliverance for the children. Prayer of deliverance for the children. Prayer of deliverance for the children. And I'm going to read from the book of Luke 17 verse 2. The book of Luke 17 verse 2. The Bible says, It were better for him that a millstone were hanged around his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Jesus put a curse to anyone who is offending, who is, who, who is abusing the children. Jesus, the son of the living God, himself put a curse on the person wherever abusing children, wherever offending children. Jesus said that this person can be put a hillstone. You know, hillstone is a very big and heavy stone. The Bible says that Jesus said that they, that, that person can put can, can the neck, the, the hillstone can put in his neck and thrown in the sea. When the person is being thrown in the sea with that, that stone, the person will never float. The person will stay on the ground and, and stay there. He will never be found because the, the stone will keep him on the ground down there. But if the person is thrown on the water, without that stone, the person will float and they will be seen. Which means that the curse of God, the curse of Jesus that has put anybody that is offending the children, shall never be found. It has been, this, that person will be, even his body will never be found. Therefore, I am praying according to the word of God, according to the word of Jesus, that wherever is abusing children, anyone that is attacking children, spells and killing children, donating children, sacrificing children, let that heal stone be, 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 be put on the neck and thrown in the sea. I was shown a vision about the children. That's why I'm coming up to pray for the children. I saw how the children had been tortured and been tormented. The, the, the enemy has been released to torture children and kill children. Our children are not safe. That's why I'm praying. Because God wants me to pray for the children. According to the word of God. According to the word of Jesus. That Jesus has issued to anyone that is abusing children. Anyone that is offending the little one. Children are being raped. Children are being sacrificed. Children are being used and in, in a labor, hard labor. Children are killed and, and being used by the power and the blood of Jesus. Anyone that is using children, anyone that is abusing the children all over the world, wherever these kids are, my God, I pray according to your word that this person will put a, a millstone on his neck and put in the, and thrown in the sea. Lord, let the hook, let that stone fall upon that person. Let the wrath and the hand of God locate that person. Because God does not want anybody to, to abuse their children. In the book of Luke 18, verse 15, And they brought him unto infants that he could touch them. And, he, and, 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 and they brought the infants, they brought the children to Jesus so that Jesus can touch them. Jesus, the touch of Jesus, one touch from Jesus was enough to, to, to open eyes, heal, long standing infirmity and set the captivity free. One touch of Jesus is, was enough to protect the children, to protect the children, to open the children's eyes, to heal the infirmities and, and destroy everything that, that would affect the children. That's why we pray for the children. We don't baptize children. We pray for them because Jesus touched them. A touch of Jesus will change the life of the children. Children who are sick, children who have been are having infirmities, children who have been suffering, been, been blind, been, been tortured. One touch of Jesus will heal. That's why Jesus, the children, was brought to Jesus and Jesus touched them. May Jesus touch your child. May Jesus touch your children wherever they are all over the world. I pray that the touch of Jesus, let it touch children. Let it touch your child. Let it touch, touch our children in the name of Jesus. And they will be healed. That demon that is operating in the life of children, spirit of rebellious, witchcraft demon that, that is attacking the children. Every power. You know, 
do you know that many children are being initiated to witchcraft? They are innocent, but they are being initiated to witchcraft. I was in the meeting and I saw so many kids were confessing that they were children. I was praying for a little boy of, of, of eight years. The boy was already initiated by witchcraft. The enemy is using children so badly. That's why the God, Jesus himself, condemning wherever is using the children. These kids, they are young. They don't know what, they don't know anything. And then they grown up. A person with this, his mind decide to initiate a child to witchcraft. Children are being trained how to do evil than good. My God, I pray, my Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is deceiving a child, anyone who is abusing children, let the fire and the thunder of God locate them. Let this person, God, my Father, let the avenge of God locate them and destroy them in Jesus' name. I am praying for the children that God will protect them, divine protection over the children in the name of Jesus. Yes, my God, I want to thank you, Lord. The book of Isaiah 54, verse 13, the Bible says, the book of Isaiah 54, verse 13, the Bible says, And all the children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of the children, of the children. You know, all the children will be taught by God. It doesn't matter. All the children will be taught. All the children will be taught by God. God will teach every child. It is God who can teach the children. The Bible, that's why Jesus said, bring, bring the little one, bring children to me. And Jesus touched them. God Almighty, he will teach the children. And all the children shall be taught of the Lord. And the great shall be the peace of the children. The, the, the great shall be the, 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 the peace of the children. When the children have been taught by God, they will have peace. That's why we need to bring children to the to the to the God to to God to to be dedicated. That's why you need to bring your child to the house of God to be dedicated. That's why you need divine protection of children. If every parents could bring their children to the church for dedication, if every parents can pray for their children, children could not be abused. Children could not suffer the way they are suffering. Now, men, you know, there's a jail. There's a jail, jail for the children, young offended. Because of this enemy, that's attacking their mind, affecting them. They are initiated with the demons. So the child is growing wild and the child is ready to kill. I was dealing with the children. I had a, a children's home and I, the children who were in the streets, as young as the children at age of six, says that they have killed somebody. A child went with a, with a, a sword and they killed a person. Children have killed another child. Children kill other children. That is how fire and it is. Because somebody has initiated evil to this child. Therefore, I pray that let God himself, let God Almighty, our Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, teach your child. Let God himself touch, touch your children and your children will be free in the name of Jesus. I do not know what your child needs deliverance from but one touch of Jesus will solve the problem. Child is child in his dream. Child, child has a good future. Child has a dream. But the enemy destroyed them. Do you know when Jesus was born, how many children were killed? Because they wanted to destroy the, the destiny of Jesus. Many children were killed during the time of Jesus. During the time of Moses, Many children were killed. So it is the same spirit, the demon that hates children, it is the same demon that is working up to now. Do you know how many children are being sacrificed by day? Do you know how many children are being aborted by day? Do you know how many children are being abused, left to death by day? Do you know how much children are being tortured and suffering? You have to pray. Whether you have children, you don't have to children, you have to have a heart. And pray for the children. Jesus himself said that anyone that offending child should be thrown on the lake, on the sea, and die there. Therefore, people of God, let's pray for our children. Let us pray for the children. The children are the leaders of tomorrow. The children are our, are our, are our future. 
So if we leave children like this, God, even God will not be happy for us. So let us pray for the children. My father, I pull down every stronghold of bewitchment, enchantment, chants, divination fashioned against any child in the name of Jesus by marine witches in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, any witchcraft, any bewitchment, any power that is witching with children, let them be destroyed by fire of God in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder brought of God locate and destroy every location of marine witches, coven where, where desperation and a decision ever version against you against the children in the name of Jesus. Wherever deciding to destroy these children, let the thunder brought of God locate them. Let, uh, let the fire of God fall upon enemies that is are abusing children, that is are, are attacking children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray any water spirit from, from the village, from the village of these children, from the place of birth, that is are practicing witchcraft against these children. Let this water be dried up in the name of Jesus. I pray that the water, witchcraft water, any witch, any person using water in the from the village, from the place that your children are, from where you are living, wherever the children are practicing in the in witchcraft, mentioning the children, chanting over the children. Let the fire of God burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Let every spirit or weapon of wickedness fashioned against the children under any liver or a sea be roasted by fire of God in the name of Jesus. I am praying that God, let every spirit or weapon of wickedness fashioned against your children, against the children under any liver or a sea, be roasted by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray any power of marine witchcraft holding any of the blessings of, of the children in the bondage, receive the fire of God and release them in the name of Jesus. Any power of marine witchcraft holding the blessings of the children. Oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any power of marine witchcraft holding any of the blessings of the children in bondage, Receive the fire of God and release them in the name of Jesus. I pray that you witchcraft, holding the blessings of the children, using malign witchcraft, in the name of Jesus Christ, release the, their blessings and die in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that any, 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 so, any mind and soul, from the, any mind and soul, Lord, my Father, I pray any person holding the mind and the soul of the children in bondage, I take the authority by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Any witch, any evil person holding the mind of the children and their souls, you know wicked people, they can hold the mind of the children. Because the children, they are innocent, they are, they are easily to be controlled and been deceived so the enemy take authority and all the mind of the children and souls. Now they put them in bondage. Let these individuals, let this personality be wasted and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft, any marine witchcraft, chaining, binding the hands and feet of, of, of the children from prospering, be broken and shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. Yes, my God. I pray any marine witchcraft, chaining, Chain binding the hands and feet of, of, of the children from prospering, be broken and shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my God and my Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I am praying that every chain binding the hands and the feet of the children by any malign witchcraft, I command them to be broken to pieces in Jesus' name. Let them be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Any marine witchcraft chaining, binding the hands of and the feet of, of, of the children from prospering. You know, there's this power called marine witchcraft. They chain the children, their hands and their feet. So the children, even in school, a child cannot perform anything. You wonder what's wrong with my child? What's wrong with my kid? Because marine witchcraft has been has chained your child 
in, in the, we are changed, uh, your child and, and it's, it's hand and feet. Thus the child cannot prosper. And that's why you see many children are being wasted like that. I pray that let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Let those chains be broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow shoot into the life of your children from under any water through witchcraft come out of him or her and go back to your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I want to thank you, Father. I pray that God Almighty, King of Lord, every arrow shoot unto the life of the children from under any water through witchcraft come out of him or her and go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. I'm going to read from the book of Luke, uh, the, the book of, of Psalms 8 verse 2. The Bible says, out of the mouth of the babies and the sucking hasten, thou ordained strength because of the enemies. Thou art mightest, steal the enemy and the avenge. God has a plan for children. He wants to use them to defeat the enemies. But they are cost constantly receiving information and, and they sometimes find it difficult to distinction between the truth and the counterfeit. Also, my God, my Father, would help the children because the Bible says, out of the infant mouth, my God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, out of the mouth of their babies, sucking hasn't thou ordained strength because of their enemies. My God, I bleed the blood of Jesus over these children, over these kids, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you. It is high time. It is high time. It is, it is, it is high time as Christian minister or parents shout for early deliverance of your children or what before they graduate to dry fish. They can no longer be folded. It is high time for parents, ministers, pastors, uh, church elders, deaconers to step, to take a step and pray for the children before they entered into the dry fish, before they entered into the hands of those, those who are fishing children. You know that people are fishing children seriously to get them and sacrifice them. Children are for sure sacrificed. Children are being murdered every day. It is the responsibility of pastors, elders, evangelists, el parents to come and pray for the children. Pray for the children in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalms 32 verse 8, it says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my, my eyes. The Lord will instruct and teach the children and they, he will guide them the way they will go. So my, God will help the children. God is the father of the children. Let's pray for God to touch the children and guide them and, and help them in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will help them. First John 4, verse 4, the Bible says, Ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are overcomers. The Lord will, will deliver you, will turn your circumstances around you to favor you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will turn a circumstance around your children to, to favor them. You are overcomers. Your children are overcomers. The Lord will turn their circumstances around them and, and favor them in the name of Jesus. Overcomers, you will be favored and the Lord will turn the circumstances around you and favor you in Jesus' name. So he who is in, the, is, who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Therefore, Little children, they belong to God. God loves the children. That's why he said, even the kingdom of God is like children. We pray that God will deliver these children in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's look in the book of Isaiah 8, verse 10 and 18. The book of Isaiah 8, verse 10 and 18. The Bible te says, Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand, for God is with us. Behold, and I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders 
in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelt in Mount Zion. You see, the Bible is saying they will take counsel together. They will stand, but they, 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 they will speak the word, and it shall not stand because the God is with us. When those wicked and evil scatter together to speak, to plan how to destroy the children, they will not stand. The Lord Almighty, the Bible says in verse 18, says, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs. You are children that God has given you. They are for signs and wonders. They are ministers. They are, they are doctors. They are engineers. They are president. They are everything for, 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 for God. Because God has given you those kids for signs and wonders. God did not give you the children to abuse them. God did not give you the children to be slaughtered, to be sacrificed. Any woman who has given birth to a child, and this child is being sacrificed, children are being uh, 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 abused. God has not given you the child, children to be slaughtered, to be, to be destroyed. The Bible says children are for signs and wonders. Children are the, the, the kings. Children are the president. Children are the leaders. They are for signs and wonders. They are not for sacrifice. They are not for abuse. They are not for hard labor. They have been signs and wonders. Therefore, I pray that any person, any personality, wherever it is, I pray that this voice, where it could go all over the world, every corner of the world, and look at the cat wherever is abusing children, wherever is planning to sacrifice children, where the discharge is being held, wherever is putting the knife, what they are doing, drinking the blood of children, let the thunder of God locate them, let the fire of God kill them, let these people be destroyed in the name of Jesus, let them be blind and let them die. The very person who is abusing children, people who are, who are taking advantage of their children, wherever they are, let them suffer, let them receive thunder and the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Remember what Jesus said. Jesus said they would be thrown on the sea and, the, and on the bottomness of the pit, they would remain there. Therefore, I am standing against the, the wicked people, satanic people, wicked and evil people abusing the children. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and kill them wherever they are in Jesus' name. I saw the way children were being tortured. And the people and the witchcraft are being loving and, and celebrating. Right now your child is sick. is in the bed. Hospital, children, kid. Children, hospital, tortured there. Suffering. Some of them they are given oxygen. Some of them they are tortured so much by those wicked and evil powers of darkness. I pray that God will touch them. I pray the children who are being tortured by the demons, who are being tortured by witchcraft, who are being sick and right now in the hospital, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, touch them. Jesus, touch them. Touch these children. They will not die but live to declare the word of God. I pray wherever any child, wherever they are, any children, anyone who is sick, I pray let them receive healing. Let them receive fire. Let them receive the deliverance of God in the name of Jesus. My God, touch these children in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the book of Romans 16, verse 20, the Bible says, And the, and the gospel of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The, the grace of God, the peace of God, the, the peace of God shall bruise Satan. Let the peace of God, let God's word destroy the Satan that is attacking children. Yes, Satan is under your feet. Just put that Satan on your feet and let Satan know that you they are under your feet to leave your children. Let Satan leave children and let children live in Jesus' name. Children who are being cast. Children who have been, uh, been really abused right now, I am praying that let God deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for the, ch the children. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit contrary to the spirit of God, preventing you from enjoying your children. There is power that preventing you from enjoying your children. You know some parents, they don't enjoy their children because of powers of darkness, because of witchcraft. 
A woman was sharing with me. Her own children are turning against her. They are abusing her. I had a story that the children, the husband and, and, and his children, they decided to, to, to come against the, their mother. A husband decided to become against his wife and, in, and influence the children. So all the children become against, the, against the, their mother. And they started abusing the mother. Even the children went and got a woman, a wife, to bring to their father because they don't like their mother. That is a very serious thing. Yes, I know some mothers are very wicked. But now here is the enemy turning against you with your, your own children. Father, I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bind every spirit contrary to the spirit of God, preventing you from enjoying your children in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit binding their minds from receiving the glory, glorious light of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Let all spirit of stubbornness, pride, and disrespect for parents flee from, from, their, from their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that God, that would deliver the children from, from stubbornness and disrespect for, for their parents. That is demon that is operating in the life of the children. Stubborn demons. Disrespecting. You know that the, the children, they call their parents their names. They are so stubborn because the demon has been planted in their minds, in their lives. So you, you, you bind those demons. You command the demons of, of stubbornness and pride and disrespect to, to get out of your child in Jesus' name. If you leave them, you cannot enjoy them. It is your responsibility to stand against those demons and cast them out of your children. Because they can make you suffer and they can abuse you really. Very serious. Father, destroy everything in the life of the children, preventing them from doing your will in the name of Jesus. Every curses, evil covenant, and all initiate, inherited problems passing down to the children be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every curses, every covenant, and all inherited problems passed down to the children be cancelled in the name of Jesus. I pray let them be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus. I destroy every inherited problems passing down to the children. I, I cancel them. I break them in pieces in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, my God and my Father. Let, let, let every association and agreement between your children and, 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 and your enemies and their enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let every association and agreement between your children and their enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So just your children will not become misdirected arrows in the name of Jesus. Your children will not become misdirected arrows in the name of Jesus. I release your children from the bondage of any evil domination in the name of Jesus. I release you are children from the bondage of any evil domination in the name of Jesus. Let all evil influences by demonic friends clear away. Every influence of demonic friends, they are unfriendly friends that will come to your children and destroy them and in, 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 introduce them opio, introduce them witchcraft, introduce them uh, ganja, introduce them this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, these drugs. Let those friends to be scattered and removed away from your children. Party company, evil children, evil company, party groups that have entered into the life of your children. Let them be destroyed. Let them be removed away in the name of Jesus. I disassociate you from any conscious or unconscious demonic grouping or involvement in the name of Jesus. I disassociate. I disassociate you from any conscious or unconscious demonic groupings or involvement in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I pray that, that they receive mandate, receive mandate, mandate and, and now ex exercise it is to release your children from prison of any strong, strong man. In the name of Jesus, I pray that them receive mandate and 
and, ex and the exercise to release the children from the prison of any strong man in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Let God arise and all the enemies of your home be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let every enemy of the children's, that children's home, where the enemy is hiding, let God arise and destroy them. Your home will be a home of peace and, 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 and a place of rest and joy and peace. Not a home of, of slaughter, not a home of sacrificing children, not a home of abusing children. Your children will be the children that God has blessed you, will be your signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray every evil influence activity of strange woman on your children be narrowed. Strange children that is attacking your child, I am bringing the blood of Jesus to destroy them and be narrowed them in the name of Jesus. My Father, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to give you all the glory, God. I bless your name. I bless your name, God. I cover the children with the blood, with the blood of Jesus. I cover their parents with the blood of Jesus. I pray for the parents of these children, wherever they are. Lord, give them wisdom and knowledge to, to protect their children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever they are, God, I commit the parents, Lord, to you. I pray that, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, protect the children, God. Oh, my God. I am done what you told me to do. I am now praying that God, testimony will come upon testimony because God is able to protect the children and deliver them from the hands of the, of the enemy. Wherever anyone is abusing children, who is selling children, who are sacrificing children, they will be come to justice. I am putting a curse. They will be caught and found. They will be exposed and disgraced. They will be punished. God himself will catch them and destroy them in Jesus' name. You that people, you that person, wherever you are, that you are feeding on children, you sacrifice children, you are abusing the children, your time is up. The Lord Almighty is going to cut you and arrest you and put a hillstone on your neck and throw you to the sea where you cannot be found in Jesus' name. The arrest, arresting is going to be, uh, to be, to, to be cut you. You will be arrested and you are going to be caught. You are going to be caught. You will not go free in the name of Jesus. Enemies of children, I curse you. I command you to die, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Stop abusing children. Children are signs and wonders. Children are, are our leaders. Children are the leader of tomorrow. Any person, anyone is destroying their children, let the fire of God consume them. Let them be destroyed and break into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. That I pray that God will protect the children in Jesus' name. My God, I want to thank you, Father. If, 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 there was, if you were abused or be killed, you could not be in this world today. So there's people, there's many thousands of children are being killed, sacrificed, slaughtered by people, by human beings. Let those human beings be destroyed by fire, by thunder in the name of Jesus. Satanic people, witchcraft, occult, eliminate. That is using children to drink their blood and sacrifice them. Let this power, let their power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I cast them in the name of Jesus. I render them powerless. Let, it, let justice prevail over these people in Jesus' name. Children who are missing, I pray that God locate them wherever they are. Where the children being captured, being missing, let their, their, their victim not to destroy them, not to kill them. Let justice be prevail, prevail against them in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I am in the midst of praying for children. If you want me to pray for your children, please call me. If you want me to dedicate your children to, to God, call me. Our number is 647-608-5207. I am here to pray for your children. I will dedicate your children to God. Call me and I will pray for your children. I will pray for your child and dedicate your child to God. Call my number 647-608-5207. Or you can reach us by calling this number 
487-7196. God has given me children. I love children. That's why I had children's home. I've been uh, taking care of, of children. So if your child is having trouble, all sickness, all their repair, God has given me favor to talk to children and help them. God will help you. Just call me and I, and I will pray for your children. If you have a troubled child, if you, are, if you need your children be, de be delivered, I have children deliverance. So you call me and I will help them in the name of Jesus. Call my number 647-608-5207. I am here to help your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Go to our website www dot overcomers dh ministries dot blogspot dot ca or you can send us email overcomers dhm at at gmail dot com thank you very much god bless you our email once again is overcomers dhm at gmail dot com call me write to me text me i will respond to you Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. I love children because God loves children. And I love children too. And I love you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>